Hello, and welcome to the Game Dev Quickie. In this project series, we will make a top-down shooter game. The main task for this episode is to create a player character that moves and shoots. The character has a facing direction. The player can move the character in eight directions with a keyboard. The character turns toward the mouse cursor and shoots on click. Let's get right to it. We are using this Global's helper class for easier access to content, sprite batch, and elapsed game time. The input manager provides the player's direction vector, mouse position, and click information. The game manager will bind everything else together. Okay, let's start coding. We start with a sprite class that will be the base for anything on the screen. It has a few basic properties, a constructor and a draw method. Now to the player class. A simple constructor to fulfill the inheritance. The update method handles the keyboard input and changes the position accordingly. Then it gets a vector pointing at the mouse cursor. We set the rotation using the ATAN2 function. To test the progress, we move to the game manager. Prepare a player instance and call its methods. Let's take a look. The movement and the rotation work. Great. Let's do the shooting now. The projectile data class will serve as an envelope to transfer the information. It includes a starting position and a rotation. Lifespan and speed mean how long and how fast it flies. The projectile class has similar properties. The constructor uses the data to initialize the values. We calculate the direction vector from the rotation. The update then changes the position and countdowns the lifespan. We will also need a projectile manager to handle them. It has a texture and a list. The initialization method will load the texture. We add a simple method to generate a new bullet and add it to the list. The update method goes through the list and updates each bullet. Then it removes all that expired. And the draw method draws each remaining bullet. Let's add shooting to the player class. We add a fire method. It generates new projectile data and hands them over to the manager. Inside the update method, we add a click check that will trigger the firing. Let's test everything. Back in the game manager, we initialize the projectile manager. Call its update and draw methods. And that's it. Let's see. There is a new bullet flying with each click. Awesome. Let me know how you like this episode. You can find the code in the description. Do you have any suggestions on how to improve the game? Please, share them in the comments. We will continue working on this project in the future, don't miss it. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.